Okay, so I am trying to recreate a purple, purple, that's a word, a purple galaxy pour Okay, so I am trying to do another purple, I did it again, purple galaxy ring pour. I don't know why that word is so difficult today. <laughs> Maybe too much coffee. Okay, so um, I did one a while ago, it sold, and I'm trying to recreate it. This is my third attempt to recreate this painting. Um, this one hopefully makes it onto YouTube and actually becomes a video. So I have a purple shift. It's uh, by Folk Art. Can't remember the exact color. I have a purplish mauve. I have a pink. And then I have a phthalo blue by Amsterdam. Majority of these are by Amsterdam. Um, this one's pretty cool because it looks dark, but then when it spreads out, it looks lighter. So I am going to start this ring pour. I wetted part of the canvas a little bit and then got distracted by the dog, so um, hopefully it's still somewhat wet. Um, I like it when the paint can just roll right off the edges along the corners and the... Uh oh, did I just water that down too much? Hopefully not. So let me layer up my cup and get ready to go.
Okay, I am pretty psyched about that. It is not completely the same as the other one, which I kind of figured it wouldn't be. But it's actually so cool on its own. I believe that part of my leftover blue that I was using with the phthalo blue might have some of the deco art satin enamel denim blue color and that one is known to have effects because this part right here is really disappearing and I have a feeling it's gonna look really cool as it dries so I'll let the camera go for that for a little while